Okay, guys. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, show you a few things about this this module. Now. It's a um, 600 watt boost converter. It claims to work from 10 volts to uh, 10 volt 60 to 60 volt input, and has I think it's 12 volt out to 80 volt output. This is fully adjustable voltage and adjustable current. The difference between this one and all the other ones like this, maybe a few others would be the same as this one, but on my one, I have the customization of the current adjust doesn't do anything. Uh, it okay, it does a very slight something, and we're going to see um, that in this little demonstration. Um, so yeah. So what we got is I'm going to have this um, connected up to the multimeter just by these clips here, which are attached. They're attached. It's attached again to that, and I'm going to use this as my load. Um, it's a heating element from a fan fire convector heater no um, just a you know one of those little fan things with a heater in it that blows the air and um, what we got here is um we got this one is 52.84 ohms this one is 51.07 this is according to my um, meter here and combination of um, those two using the probe here and a probe here is 104 ohms and these two together using that as the other probe um, is 25.98 ohms I'll say 25 ohms so we can expect at different voltages of course then different currents to be drawn through this which means I get the ability to adjust and see if it's just is or isn't working. So I'm just for a second that's going to go out of place, but there's I'll put that there. Uh, a couple of things I want to show you already, and the reason why I'm going to show you this like this is hopefully this is what's left inside this circuit. Uh, presumably here because this one's actually disconnected from what it's supposed to be. But I'm going to show you this now. This is 10 volts, and the claim on. On this is a uh, is at 10 volts. Okay, it's probably going to do it now, just to prove me wrong. Um, uh, it doesn't. Using this setup with that reading, it, it doesn't. I can't say that's exactly 10 volts. That's what I'm being displayed there. But if I just turn this up by 0.1. To there. Ah, okay. I can't exactly say that's true. Let's turn that back down to the 10. And now there's some juice in the caps. There we go. And what I noticed was at this setting of this 10 volts on this power supply, when there's some juice in the cap still, you can chuck it back in and it kicks in because look around 13 volts. So it's it's working but when there's no juice in the caps and you put it back in it doesn't work but if you were to go up just point one of a volt on here a uh, hundred millivolt on here uh, that's enough for it to, to kick in and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you that now I'm gonna let it I'll fast forward it through this bit but okay this should be near enough ready to through this now, so 10.1 uh, on there, so it's like 10 volts, 100 millivolt. Uh, let's just put it in now, and there we go. So, I suppose you could say 10 volts, it does work because yeah, it's pretty close to the 10. And we don't know what the but we don't know what the um, the display on this is reading probably or not. So, interesting, no load. 
let's see what it goes up to um, if we try and turn the adjust for the voltage all the way up and what will happen is when it gets past what it can actually um, boost convert it will drop back down to the output voltage oh. that's not bad from 10 volts now this has got no load on it remember so it's going to behave differently with the load on it uh, well, I'm quite shocked that this is still going up but I've got a funny feeling that's just because it just changed um, resolution so I'm going to sort of speed up one more, more. I expect it to just go full open open circuit uh, 80 volts it's claimed huh. now on my power supply we've been pulled down to 9.8 as you can see in the background on 90 and watch my uh, constant current so I presume that's because I've got some sort of limit on there which I didn't realise it was on Let's see if we get past that, so on 89 volts. There we go, that's because the, the limit was on. Try to turn that back down again. So at 92.8 volts. that it's going higher than this because the caps are already rated for 100 volts give or take you know they're 20 percent or whatever so there we go 1.1 amps 1 amp 10 volts 96.96 volts enough to wake you up in the morning if you put your fingers on those contacts so i will speed through winding this down Okay, let's just come down to around about 15 volts. Okay, so that's the lowest it can go. Well, let's see what is the lowest it can go actually at that. That's hear that little click. That's the 10 pon 10 turn pot at its maximum down. So what do we have? We had 96 point something volts, wasn't the maximum output? That's 10 volt in. Oh. Sorry about that, 7.1 volt in yeah. 96.7 I think it was, I can't remember. Let's see, let's see what it's going to do. Oh, that's not bad. Let's see what it's going to do. Okay, right. so let's put a load on it and see how it fares with a load. I'm going to turn this up so we can see it jump up to 13 volts. Mm, 13 and a half then because we want to get it set pretty close to I remember what it is because um it's a little bit minor so it's going all the way down there oh, little, oh whatever right 13.566 13 13.565 13.564 let it settle there we go so at that voltage 13.564 and now disconnect and we know it should just like basically jump straight back to it 13.64 13 13.564 13.563 okay fair enough that's what it does with our load now let us just have a little um do we do a let's let's say we put the a 50 50 ohm load on okay so that's going to be one of these the closest one to 50 was the one at the bottom fast forward through these bits so we get to see on the mm, on this meter because we're going to see how far now the 50 ohm load it pulls it down as well 
Whether actually anything's gonna work, I'm just gonna go just wire off the way else. I can't ex expect it to get terribly hot this thing as a uh, well with uh with a twenty five ohm load at two hundred and fifty volts, we're talking ten amps, aren't we? So we're not gonna be pulling that through that. Um right, okay, so ten point one volts and a 52 ohm load and I'm just going to turn my I want to turn it on full blast so there's no current limit of my power spot 10 amps we're going to have in the right settings ok right so we without the load when we kicked in we were 13.564 with the load kicked in we are 13.562 300 milliamps. So that's just there. 13.564 Four. divided by uh, what do we say the load was? What was it over there? It's a uh, 51.07. 51.07 equals 0.265. Of course, it's going to use. Um, a bit for the actual converter itself because we're going up in, in power and of course the more we turn the output voltage up leaving that the way it is the more current it's going to want to use so let's do that and see what the cutout point is now remember we have the top end of 97 volts 96.7 or something yep. so let's do that now ok 15 volts no problem 16 volts 6.5 half, half now Okay, well, I'm still noticing there's around a 24 volt load out of it. Okay, this is still at 10 volts. Alright, oh, okay, well, that's uh, 30 volts. Yeah, I can hear my um, transform inside there now. I'm sure I just saw it drop a second ago. That's, uh, let's just put on. We're going to turn it down so I don't hear my transformer getting a bit potty in there. Let's put this into 30 volts. I think that's the heating element, heating up. Let's go as close to 30 volts as we can. Yeah, that'll be. Um, I suppose as this gets warmer. Uh, right, 29973. 1.8 volts, so 29.973. We got uh, 1.8 um, volts. Okay, so I'm just going to literally just pull that. Look how quick this charge. That 25, uh, 50 ohm load on there. And I mean, I've seen now, well, it's got a load on it. When we plug it in, what it goes to, and if it even works. Kind of flicking between 10 and 1. Let's do it. What do we have? We have 29.973. 29.97. Let the side down. 972. 1.8 amps. And flicking between that um, 10 and 10.1. Okay. Let's see what we can do then. On the maximum output, if the power of my power spot sounds like it's going to throw a fit. Okay, look at that. I can't believe the drawing. Right, that looks like that's the maximum, maybe. I can get out of that if I just back that down again to. Okay, let's put on to 45. Then we're going to rip the power. 4.4 volts. 45 volts. And we're going to 4.4 amps. So I'm going to just push this from the bottom. Meow. Is that getting. That is. Yeah, it's quite warm actually. It's quite nice. Do, do, do. Warm my hands. On a nice winter's day. Okay, uh, let's just chuck that back in again. 
Ooh, look at that. It wasn't really happy. I think that was my power supply. De -de -de -de. Um, but still, 40, oh, I'll put 45 I've put here. And 44.97. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty close. Let's turn this down because it's cooking. Hmm. But that's really relieved. Okay, so uh, let's just pull that up. Pull that up. Let's try a different mode. Let's try the 25 iron mode. And uh, let's see what we get from that. I'll fast forward through this bit, changing things around. Okay, right. So now we've got a 25 iron mode on there. And I can't remember what the water was 13.6, not close to that. I didn't write it down, and we're still at. So I can hear some sort of high pitched noise in the ear. I don't know if it was this. I think it's just high pitched noise in my ear. <laughs> okay. It was uh, 13.6, wasn't it? Uh, if I remember, I was looking back at the video, so we got a 700 milliamp drawn on it. 25 ohm load and now I'm going to see if I can adjust the amps because it was one of the things about this that um, doesn't work on here it seems to be the only thing that doesn't work right so that's all by one way this is a 10 turn part It should be going down, limiting the current, so limiting everything. As you can see, I mean, it is, and that's fully limited. So if I turn this up, it's not actually caught right, it's actually on it now. I'm going to turn it up to 20 volts. Okay, close this down. And I'm going to turn up the turn up the current. To see how far it lets us go. But there's nothing, absolutely nothing on this current. I just so that most definitely doesn't work. As you can hear, we're on the limit of the current. Just so. Well, that doesn't work very well at all, does it? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to go 20 volts on this. And as I increase the voltage, of course, the load and the current goes down. So let's go this to the maximum that I can give it. 31.9 volts and of course this has now gone to the new um, levis point it can go because it's a boost converter so its minimum has to be just above my maximum but I would like that put in so let's turn this up and we got to remember this has now got a uh, 25 ohm line uh, 25 ohm line 25 ohm? yeah So 40 volts, 40 volts to run. Let's be careful more wires as well. So 50 volts, 3 amps. Volts we're for. Okay, I can see. I can see. I think we're there. Yeah. Let's go 70. And that's pull of nine. That's near enough peak and that's the highest I've ever drawn anything from my uh, power supply. I was a little bit scared there, so I'm backing everything down. 
It's a little tiny bit of uh, it's probably just the dust getting warm. Uh, and so there we go, that's the uh, that's the limit there. So then as I turn this down of course, that will go down as well. Of those with batteries, if you're using, there we go, so let's say between 12, 5, 12, 12, 5 and 12, 4, so I'm trying to put it in the middle there, um, get 25 mm, 3 amps if you're using 30 volts, I'm not sure what I can try and work out into those like 25 mm nodes, well, well it works, and just a real pity about the current adjust on this, that's not really, this isn't warm at all, there's a little bit of warmth coming off that. Ah. But yeah, well it will certainly work at 12 volt and it certainly works at 10 volts as you can see. And um, the higher the voltage of course then the higher the, the end output. Um, but if I remember rightly, at 10 volts it was good for, well, I think, yeah, 45 amps. Uh, 45 volts it was good for, wasn't it? 4.4 amps, and that was with a 10 volt input. So, that's, uh, that's alright. That's, that's alright converter, I think. Well, it should be better if the uh, current had just worked. But because that doesn't work, it could mean that I end up getting it as a freebie. Um, yeah, anyway, if you found that useful at all, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like. And, uh, I'll catch you again soon. Bye.